Hey guys, it's me, and today I want to show you guys how the school system basically in this country is fucked, okay? It's fucked, okay? This article that I found on CNN basically states that a six-year-old boy is now being accused of sexual harassment. You heard me right, and I don't care anymore. I don't care about cen about censorship. Fuck censorship. As far as I'm concerned, censorship, shove it up your ass. I don't give a fuck. Anyway, let's begin. This is another one of those stories that seems absolutely hard to believe. Absolutely right. A six-year-old boy near Colorado Springs, Colorado was suspended from school for, are you ready for this? Kissing a girl on the hand. You read that correct, you heard that correctly, people. He got suspended from school for kissing a girl on the hand. It was during class, first grader Hunter Yel Yelton said in an interview with CNN affiliate KF KRDO. We were doing reading group and I leaned over and kissed her on the hand. That's what happened. Are you fucking serious? So, because he did that, I, I don't get it. I, God, it drives me nuts when I hear when I hear nonsense like this. Anyway, let's continue on. Not only did Hunter's Peck get him suspended from school. But the school accused him of sexual harassment, KRDO reported. Are you... <sighs> exactly. I couldn't, I couldn't say... Oh. Anyway, Hunter's mom, Jennifer Saunders, is outraged, as she should be. you damn right she should be outraged. This is taking it to an extreme that it doesn't need to be met with a six-year-old. Saunders told KRDO, now my son's asking questions, such as, what is sex, mommy? Um, this kid is, this kid's barely learning his ABCs at this point. And now he's having to ask, what is sex, mommy? Are you, are you motherfuckers who are running the schools these days just fucking assholes? Or are you truly brain dead? Fuck you, bitches. Anyway, let's continue on. She said Hunter had problems at school before getting suspended for rough housing and kissing the same girl on the cheek. Are you fucking, are you fucking out of your minds? Really? You suspend the kid for rough housing and kissing the same girl on the cheek? Sweet, merciful crap. It makes me think the school system is ran by fucking morons. And yes, I don't care how many F-bombs I drop in this video. I don't give a damn. This is bullshit, and it's fucking wrong, people. Anyway. The family's been working with him on class disruption by grounding him and giving him big restrictions, Saunders said. Well... I can kind of understand, you know, I can kind of see the mom's point if he has, you know, like, little tendencies to act out. But for kissing a girl on the cheek and kissing the same girl on the hand, are you fucking insane? Are you fucking nuts? Is the school system in, in this kid's town... Just out of their out of their fucking minds or something. Robin Gouldy, the superintendent of Canyon City Schools, told told KRDO that Hunter's record will remain within the district, and that his behavior fits the school policy of sexual harassment, which includes unwanted touching. Is this person insane, or is this person just a just a fucking idiot? This does not fit the definition whatsoever. No, it does not. It is pointless. 
you basically are telling the kid, oh yeah, by the way, you did something wrong. Oh yeah, it's like, you did nothing wrong, so we're just going to go ahead and suspend you because we don't care about you. This is basically why I keep saying, people, that the school system in this country is a fucking joke. Our main interest is having the behavior stop because the story is not just about the student that was disciplined. It's also about the student receiving the unwanted advances. Gordy Gouldy told HLN. We have to think about both stu both students in this situation. Oh, sweet Jimmy Christmas. So basically, you didn't suspend the other person. It's funny how you didn't suspend the girl, but you suspended the guy. Does anybody else see a problem there? Huh? Does nobody else see a problem with this? Does nobody else see, like, I don't know, an imbalance here? Like, like something isn't right here? Like, I don't know. The guy... The guy gets in trouble, but the girl receives no punishment. <sighs> Saunders said the girl in question was fine with it, because Hunter and the girl considered themselves boyfriend and girlfriend. The girl's parents have not commented publicly on the issue, but Saunders wants her son re her son's record cleared of anything of anything suggesting sexual harassment. I quite I completely agree. The kid did nothing wrong here. So what the fuck is wrong with these fucking idiots? What is wrong with people nowadays? As far as I'm concerned, this century, fuck it. We don't need it. Change it from the 21st century to the dumbass century, as far as I'm concerned. <sighs> Give me a break. On Wednesday, Saunders told CNN that the boys' school principal would ask the superintendent to reconsider removing the term sexual harassment from Hunter's record. He should. The superintendent did not return a phone call from CNN. Of course he didn't. Remove it from his record... Remove it from his record, Saunders told KRDO. I need to stand up and fight for him. I can't just let this happen because it's not the case. It's not what happened at all. Completely agree. He's she's right. That's not that's not what happened at all. These people are just fucking crybaby dumbasses. Hunter, for his part, said he feels sorry for doing something wrong, and tries to be good in school. But I, but I just have a lot of energy, six-year-olds. They have a lot of energy, Hunter said. Okay, that, that's true. Sometimes they have too much, if you ask me. They sure do, and as a parent of a six-year-old and a seven-year-old, in an innocent peck on the cheek or hand seems as natural for kids as ages as declarations of who they plan to marry. The question is now, what is this kid going to do you know, when he's like, when, you know, when he, when he, when he's, you know, old enough to, what's he going to do? Like, I don't know, just push everyone away from him and say, no, thanks, you trouble and everyone like you trouble. That's probably what he's going to do, people. I don't know. They don't know anything about sex or sexual harassment. So how on earth can they be accused of sex behavior? They can't. That's impossible. Reactions online to Hunter's story have been swift, with the majority of the comments expressing pure outrage, as they should, because this is absolute bullshit. The school probably traumatized the kid for life with this with that stupid move, wrote Brenda N. Esselman on the Facebook page for New Day. And you know what? This kid hit this kid has been traumatized, and the school has clearly failed this kid. So I say, if you have to, get the kid out of there. Yeah. Poor child. He's too young to even know what sexual harassment is. 
another person wrote, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce their name. I'm sorry. It's like it's like a foreign name, and again, I'm not going to try to say it. I'm sorry. Another example of how we are now overreacting to something as simple as a childhood crush, Benny Barz Barboza wrote. Again, that's true. We're overreacting now to something as simple as that. Fuck that. Eric Vetch, also on Facebook, said he kissed a girl when he was six. His punishment? I'm writing on the chalkboard, I will not kiss girls at school, and it was a private Christian school. Go figure. On the other side, there's a small number of people voicing support for the school's actions. Are you... It's like, of, co of course there's people saying the school was right. Of course there are. Of course there's people saying that. Because the school is the school's brainless. I swear it. And yeah, I don't care what I say in this video because that's bullshit. This kid shouldn't have been punished for this. He shouldn't have been punished to this extent for fuck's sake. The kid shouldn't go around kissing someone else's child. Because if it was my daughter, the parents and I would be talking. Let's keep it real. Russell M. Walker wrote on Facebook, Okay, I can understand you doing that. Now that now that makes a little sense. You know, talk it out. That makes some sense. But to basically go but to basically suspend this kid for sexual harassment is fucking bullshit. It's fucking bullshit, people. It's fucking bullshit. I don't care. <sighs> We clearly need to hear more from the school and the school district because this might turn out to be another case where the pressure to follow set school rules gets in the way of common sense. I, yeah, that's that's true. That's true. This is good. This might turn out to be completely. This might basically turn out to be a way to just basically say, you know what, the female students can do whatever they want, but the guys. Yeah, they pretty much should just I don't know, go have their go have their units removed or something. And I think you guys all know what I'm talking about. <sighs> we saw this recently with two with two other stories with the Lone Long Island school heavily criticized for banning most ball playing and even requiring supervision of games of tag while the schoolyard was under construction. And in Boston, where a student who allegedly went to a party to drive a friend home who was drunk was suspended from playing on her school's volleyball team. What? So, let me get this straight. A student in Boston who was trying to give her friend a ride home because the friend was drunk got suspended from playing on the school's volleyball team. And in Long Island, New York, the school was heavily criticized for banning most ball playing and even required supervision ga supervision of games of tag while the schoolyard was under construction. Are you fucking... Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking kidding me? So what do you guys think? What do you guys think of this bullshit? Do you think a six-year-old should be suspended and accused of sexual harassment for kissing a girl in the hand? Go ahead and let me know in the comments section down below. And guys, you know what else to do? And you know what I do? I t I've talked about it so you don't have to. And guys, I... <sighs> I am so pissed right now. I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know how to express my feelings right now, other than saying the school system in this country, fuck you. You basically have tra I've now traumatized this kid for life. You're basically now saying, oh yeah, this kid. Let's go ahead and suspend him, but the girl we're not going to punish one bit. I mean, I'm sorry, but I didn't realize that being in school meant you guys could go ahead and enforce enforce bullshit laws 
that make no sense on one side, but basically you can enforce them for both. So it's rules for thee, not for me. Fuck off. And to all of you out there, try to have a happy holidays, whatever it is you celebrate. And and to the p and to the par- and to the school board at this kid's school, go to go to fucking hell. And while you're at it, close your fucking school down. And to all schools who support and to anyone who supports this bullshit, fuck you too. To anyone who's for this. Anyone who shows support for this crap, go to go fuck yourselves. So, guys, this is bullshit. This is proof right here that nonsense like this apparently is go is going to be is just going to become the norm. Ugh, this has got to be. This has got. This has got to be. The, 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 Guys, I don't even know what to say except they might as well just have no more co-ed schools ever again. They might as well go back to guys going to one school, girls go to another. They might as well. <laughs> At least there's no chance of this happening anymore. So, guys, just give me your thoughts and tell me what you think. Holy shit. In my opinion, the school system... The school board overreacted, and the school, and them putting that record on this kid, and them putting that that on this kid's record is wrong. So just go ahead and just get.